years old, but he's a super rider. We'll now see just how good. Can he win it again? Up go the tapes. Golov is taken wide, 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 but he's going through. But look out front to Jimmy Nelson. If Nelson holds it here, Nelson will be the Grand Prix leader at the end of the night. Jimmy Nelson's in front. Golov is going. The cheers are mounting. Golov is mounting his challenge. But somehow Jimmy Nelson has picked up the right route. Jimmy Nelson is under threat. But Jimmy Nelson, with nearly half the race gone, is still out front. Can Thomas Golub do it? The challenge will be tough for Jimmy Nielsen. That's right. Can Jimmy just keep that speed up for long enough? Like I say, I don't think he's enjoying that very much, but if he can put this one good ride together, then he can win it. Thomas is trying everything he can around the outside. He did there and possibly looked up a little, but now he's got to try it again. But the poles are cheering. You can hear the noise now as Golub tries to pick it up. Jimmy Nielsen goes into the last lap now, still in front. Thomas Golub is mounting that challenge. Look at him on the outside. Can he pick up the grip? It's all going to be on the final bend. Jimmy Nelson is up to Golov, goes through. Nelson comes back. Golov goes too wide. Golov will come again. Oh, on the line by half the wheel. It's Thomas Golov. Listen to the fans from Poland. They're jumping in the air. Jimmy Nelson beaten by half the wheel. The lead changed hands twice on the final bend. And Thomas Golov, in the end, the winner. The Poles have gone mad. Could he be world champion elect? Thomas Golub moves on to 65 Grand Prix points. And what a finish. What a finale. What a race to credit to the final. The chequered flag means a lot to 35,000 people in this stadium. And an awful lot of money, an awful lot of dollars to Poland's highest paid sportsman. And the cheers just tell you there as he bows to the fans how popular he is. The flags are waving and it's party time in Rotslav tonight. It's party time from Gdansk in the north to Katowice in the south. And Thomas Golob will be celebrating with the best of them. Jimmy Nelson in second place, Stefan Dano in third, Tony Rickardson in fourth. Dano, uh, Rickardson and Nielsen are still in contention for that world title that Thomas Golov has well and truly stolen a march in front of his own crowd. And I just wonder, PC, was it one of the best finishes to a race you've ever seen? Oh, absolutely marvellous. We had to wait until the last two metres of the track before we saw the result there. And the way Thomas just gradually reeled him in, the way he took him on that pitch turn was unbelievable because he came through there so fast he could have easily gone straight over the fence and into the crowd the speed he was going. But he held it, he kept it, Jimmy came back at him. Then he got the wheels straight in line and straight back over the finish to steal it by about half a metre. And that, if he's going to win the World Championship this year, Thomas has got to do things like that. And he's halfway there right now after three rounds, and he's in the driving seat. Thomas Golob then, a tremendous winner, the most popular man in Poland, and could he be the world champion?